fielding a kick. You don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. Rodgers now on first down. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Hey, pick 26. First and goal at the 9 yard line. Throwing is Rodgers. Forced out to his left. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On second and goal, Rodgers, and it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Texans are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. Touchdown, Houston! Damian Pierce, 95 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And this is now a one-point game. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. On first down, Rodgers firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 33. Now Rodgers. Into a double team, and it's intercepted.
Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you're looking at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. There they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That's good for a Green Bay Packer. First and goal at the two yard line. To throw, it's Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Jones. Two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are an extra point away now from moving out in front. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You created with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes it's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Mills to throw for it on fourth. Buying time to his left. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. To the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Well, they match their opponent's pick six from earlier. Those are some crucial points that may prove pretty consequential as to how this one plays out. And Brandon, I think now we're not just watching how they move around the field, but we're checking their psychology out a little bit, aren't we? Because that defense, they're about to go right back out with all the momentum on their side. That's where the opposing offense, you wonder if there's going to be some hesitation to lean entirely on the passing game to try and mount a counterattack.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And not a blitzer, but still able to get there from a strong safety position. Yeah, I think that's a great example of what they call football IQ. Recognizing he was open, had a chance, and went ahead and got to the quarterback. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally, I say, here's a stop on third down. Fourth down, Mills. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Rodgers going to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it up, and the Texans are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Texans' offense ready to go here for their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Rolling to his left. He's got a man complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. A first down throw for Mills. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and ten. Play fake, Mills. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. Final play of the half, Mills. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. 
The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. From his end zone, here's Traymond Smith. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. First down, Mills. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Pierce. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They move the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now, all of everything here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. On second down, here's Pierce. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. I'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They go play action. Mills. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. On third down, here's Mills. And that will be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. It's off the left, upright, and it caroms away. No good. And the deficit will stay at two field goals. So we would have figured that one to be three points in the bank, but this game, you know, can be unpredictable at times. Yeah, he knew he needed to pull it ever so slightly to get it going in the right direction, but he seemed to put a little too much on it. And from short range, that is a bad miss for an NFL kicker. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They're going to run for it with Jones. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he returns this to the 22. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. 
And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Mills. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Mills on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Mills throw taken in by Collins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 35. To throw, Mills. Another one caught by Collins. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got it to Collins complete. Touchdown! Nico Collins from 17 yards out. And the Texans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. And he will get into the end zone to cut the deficit down to four. Boy, it's only a one-score game. Third quarter, mind you, but they're going to go for the onside kick right here. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use it. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Texans are going to take over at their own 41. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. He's got room at the 30. Touchdown, Houston! O.J. Howard, 59 yards. And the Texans have tied the ball game with a chance to go ahead now in the final seconds of the third quarter. And now Lovey Smith sends the call out. They're going to go for two here. That's caught. And he is not going to get to the goal line. The defense keeps him out of the end zone, and as a result, that's going to keep this game tied. So 
So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. So the onside kick is recovered. And, you know, I always thought, Charles, as someone who didn't play these positions, that going over the middle as a receiver or trying to recover an onside kick, those are two very tough things to do. It takes a lot of fortitude to put yourself in that position, but you have to do it in order to help your team win. Unable to recover it, it costs him. The kicking team gets the football here. The throw down the field caught by his running back. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mills. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. From the 35 on second down, Mills. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to look deep for more. And this is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Chris Moore, 51 yards. And the Texans strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. They're going to try and run. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Jones. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Jones. Fights through him. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle, Jones. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And inside give to Jones. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. The give is to Jones. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and a PAT for the lead. 
A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line down at the two. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he is in as they have tied it late here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? A very important extra point there, up and good. And that is going to put them on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Now Mills. That's complete to Pierce. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's Mills. Delivers another one to Pierce. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mills looking to throw it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Mills, fourth down, got to have it. Dancing to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end.